And so, you know, I'm I'm gonna officially respond to uh his, the the Karen video. And um the, the Falkery with that. You know, Karen um and you know, it it seems kinda lame to talk about her kids and stuff like that. And you know, I I, sh- I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. You know, Karen's kids may grow up fucked up. You know, they they may grow up fucked up. And um, this woman is carrying too many scars, whether it's from her past relationship with black men, her black side of the family, uh black men on YouTube uh and, and so on that you know this this woman is like literally obsessed with black hate onto her. And you know, in my opinion, Karen could have been popular uh, or, you know, well known. And with her dismissal from the from the the lovings day event or no not the love it was the the mix remix conference whatever and you know she got kicked out because um you know she, you know she felt that it was colorism and they don't appreciate black women who swirl and all that shit but I'm glad Sarge really he caught it and I caught it as well. That, you know, she's been talking too much shit. And it's going to be hard for people to even, you know, side with her. And I think this is why Karazin doesn't have a large platform. You know, her, her platform could have been larger. It's not like interracial dating is, uh, is uh, you know, is really taboo in the black community. It's not, it's not taboo at all. You know, we're practically more encouraged to do it than now than ever. You know, especially, you know, among black men. And so, you know, if black men are going to date white women or Latina women, you know, you know, dudes really aren't going to give a fuck where black women go. Um, you know, you of course, you'll have, you know, people on the Internet, you know, hotel dudes, you know, having, you know, one foot, you know, in the suburbs and then one foot in Kemet or whatever, you know, you'll see that shit, um, anyways, um, you know, Karrison could have had a bigger platform, but, you know, she played in with the, with, with the trolls and the guys who egged her on, and so, you know, it, it looks, it looks kind of weak and, and immature for, you know, companies to, you know, bring her on the show or whatever to, uh, you know, to have her on board, you know, it, it's just too much, you know, it, it's just too much bickering with her, and, you know, people are going to be like, damn, like, why do you entertain these guys, like, they're, did you, all you have to do is ignore them, but you're spending hours, and, and the thing is, the more you talk, the more you sound like them, you're, you're talking about aborting black male babies, you're, you're talking about, um, you know, your, 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 your followers are very weird and, you know, they're, they're talking crazy and how much they hate black men and they, how much they despise them. And, you know, it, it's a bad look, you know, a lot of, you know, it, and sometimes I even question and wonder, like, how do these followers of Brooklyn Blue, Simone 56, Isadora Storm and cares and like how do they function? Especially around other black people. You know, these people are like detached from reality. And they, they sound fucking crazy. You know? You know, they 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 they, they, they really do sound freaking crazy. And you know, people are looking, you know, business people in business. You know, it's, it's like I said before, it's not like interracial dating is taboo. 
especially for black women, they they know that there isn't going to be a lot of backlash for black women dating and racially because they have they have the numbers, they have the 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 feminists editors and writers to you know to to contradict themselves and saying that i'm i'm still woke and dating white men look at this person look at that person fuck kanye meanwhile they'll say fuck kanye fuck kim kardashian fuck kylie jenner they'll do all that shit and then you know they'll talk about how you know the white men are valuing us and how much you know we're getting noticed and appreciated and all that shit. <sighs> you know, Kirsten could Kirsten could have had a a much larger platform, but you know, she she ruined she destroyed herself. But anyways, um, when it comes to this whole issue with, you know, biracial children and where should they go and who should they date, you know, Sarge did make a good point in that, you know, I I thought about it once and I kind of felt bad that I didn't make a video about it on, I think I did, I think I did talk about it, I can't remember, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but, um, You know where will interracial where will uh, mixed people who will mixed people date? I think I did talk about mixed people are um, they they're starting to date white men. I, I kind of noticed that. <laughs> kind of I kind of noticed like if they're really like racially ambiguous, like if they look like Zadea or. Um, I was gonna say Halle Berry, but you know people kind of associate her still as black. But I, she's not the artist. She don't look that ambiguous. I'll probably say like a Zadea would be like the arch type, you know, mix racially ambiguous woman that you know would look like you know she would date only white men if you if she was an everyday chick. And yeah, I like how Sarge brought it up that. You know, uh, you know, mixed women are in a kind of a weird spot because white men are only for dark-skinned women, and you know, the bi the, the the biracial products they can't date black men because it, it promotes colorism and you're downing dark-skinned women, but you know. But it creates this kind of confusion of where do black men go when um, you're dating interracially to uh, get away from us, you know? And so it's like, you know, and, and Karen's is just kind of complete idiot. I'm I'm really annoyed with this kind of um, assumptions that black women create and black people let it slide. When it comes to colorism and black men dating outside of race, this, this this reminds me of that post that a girl did um, on my Facebook where she's talking about how all these niggas are dating white women and they don't want black women anymore. And she's talk, she's pulling up all of these celebrities and athletes, and I'm like, you, you know, there's dudes who are every day dealing dealing with black women. And, you know, granted, they may be dealing with black women only because that's who they are, are socially allowed to get with. There's not a lot of diversity. There's not a lot of access to white or Asian communities. And so, you know, the, the sisters are like their default. And it's not like they're doing it out of desperation. It's just like, hey, you know, I'm black, you're black. We're in a black community. Know where to go. What's up? And then, you know, there's some who are just generally attracted, like most of them are just generally attracted to black women. You know, the, the skin complexion is another thing, but, you know, you, you get my drift. And so, you know, where, and then, you know, Karen's talking about the colorism and all these professional men are dating light-skinned women. I'm like, 
you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm guessing that she's talking about these, like, Jack and Jill dudes and the boule. And if she would have called them out, I would have, I would have been okay with that. I would have been like, okay. But uh, she, she seems to be looking at a skewed view of upper class, uh, upper middle class blacks. But even with that, you know, at, at some points, colorism is just relative. Like, you know, you, like, it just kind of happens that, okay, your wife is, uh, like, three shades darker. I mean, lighter. But, you know, you're not, but the black man, him, he's not the darkest person in the room. And, you know, I, I kind of feel like it's kind of getting ridiculous to where it's like when it comes to colorism we don't know how to count it it seems like it only you know counts when it's the extreme like this this woman can pass for white or she's just super high yellow you know or she looks mixed but she's not you know i i feel like we that's kind of like the point we we've gotten into it but you know, there's no raw numbers. That's why I get pissed off when I see women talking about colorism and talking about lots of men are dating white women and, you know, they, they, they're there with light-skinned women if they want a black woman. It's like, well, I'm like, calculate the lots. What are the lots? Okay, you got the, the statistics of white of black men dating white women more, you know, like black men are more likely to date and racially... Um, than, than black women, but I'm like, it, 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 it just it just it just tangles the conversation because it's like with, with Kara's and her mission. Let let's just talk. Let's just pretend like we live in a Kara's in world. Okay, like like we said earlier, dark skinned women are only for white men. Biracial women or biracial people are a product. Okay. Um, biracial girl is like Sarge said, you know, they, they can't go anywhere. They can't date black men because they will contribute to colorism. But they also can't date white men because it's the erasure, you know, it's even though it's pretty hushed, hushed, it's it, it, you know, if, if Karen's daughter, biracial daughter is dated a white man, you know, eventually you know, Karen will just be a, 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 a photo op memory or just kind of like one of those relatives where you're like, oh, wow, I have one of those in my family. That's what well, that's how Karen is going to be. One of those. I didn't I didn't know I had one of those in the family. <laughs> you know, sh- you know, those niggas. I didn't know I had a nigga in my family. Shit. <laughs> that's how it'll be. But, you know, um, you know, maybe some women just then like most women, they don't really care about the race issue too much. They're just trying to be harm- harmonious and live as humans or whatever. And they switch on and off the, the all lives matter and the black lives matter uh, T-shirt. Um, but, you know, and then you have black men and, you know, black men aren't allowed to date black women. But then again, and they aren't allowed to date light skin or mixed women. And, you know, she's like, and it's baited. And Crystal Carrington does this so perfectly where she's, she's creating a baited society to where, you know, she wants black men to hate black women, even if it's in the right. Just like she was bitching and moaning about the bachelorette on how this, this, and she's not even how Rachel is pressured to date a black man. Because we don't see black love and whatever, and you know, I, 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 it's, it's hard to say if, if this is legit. But I'm like, <laughs> you know, it is. It is a whatever. You know, it is a whatever. But you know, even with, even when I notice with cares and even when black men show appreciation to black women, she always has something to say of how it's not genuine or you're, you're, you're killing the fun. 
it's 2017 and i'm like where do you want black men to go because i like sometimes she'll make videos expecting black men to treat black women better and to love them better and then when black men love them it's all of a sudden like oh man y'all are maintaining the the fuckery in the black community why now black women aren't gonna date white men she wants us to fail you know that's why she she loves these these stories of black men killing black women and girls. She loves these stories of colorism and Kodak Black and and rappers and athletes and and trolls. She loves this shit. She appreciates that because I can't even understand why you would even bitch and moan and cry when black men are on the right. Why would you whine about? not seeing black love like this is this is the chance to offset the shit this is a chance why couldn't you just be wear your all lives t-shirt and just be like man we're all humans i mean it's a good show it doesn't matter where she's go but you but you're crying and you you're talking about the show's fake and yeah it is fake and you, you're 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 throwing away the show i'm not watching it anymore you know she she threw in the towel when she thought the um when they were giving too much attention to Kenny and the, and the other black men, she was throwing in the, t- in the towel. She didn't like all that shit. But I'm pretty sure she's watching it now since most of the um, most of the favorites, the black favorites, are gone. So, you know, most likely, you know, she or she's probably tuning in, tuning it back in, you know, knowing or getting some some ear feedback that you know she chose a white man or whatever. <laughs> But, you know, it's it's kind of funny, like, how would you be mad at that? And it's like, it's funny how she would be mad at Chrissy, of all people, who are trying to promote, you know, dark-skinned women. You know, it, 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 it just becomes cognitive dissonance to where it's like, you know... Uh, unless black women are in these relationships, in these interracial relationships, they just want mixed sons, and that's okay. And, you know, if, if, if that's their mission to have more mixed sons or whatever, that it doesn't really bother me. It's not like I suffer from suffer from any type of uh, discrimination from, um, by, uh, you know, by biracial boys or whatever. It's not like I see them any different or, or have a complex. They ain't taking, you know, girls that I like away from me. You know, he, you know, I, I when... I see a black woman with a light skinned guy or a mixed guy. I'm not. I'm not tripping. You know that. That's my stepbrother. That's my half brother or whatever. So you know, I I don't have those hang ups that you know black women do. But um, another thing what, what I have to talk about is where is the colorism coming from? It's not just from your your um, your 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 nitpicking of whose relationship is um is, is seen or publicized you know it's not just your rappers and your goons with these uh with their dumbass statements it's not just the, the the rejected black men who who don't feel like they're attracted to black women anymore it's not just black men period and um you know, I, I was reading these comments. I, I read a comment on the comments from um, the Grio, I believe, on Kodak Black, and you know, black women are clapping back pretty hard. And you know, I noticed that a lot of black women, you know, put black men in their mouth. And um, you know, granted, yeah, we can talk about the colorism, all that shit, but um, 